Hi, so welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I will be showing you some affordable Jukes Format lipsticks. I'm not going to do all of them because the majority may be the same or similar colour. I'm just going to do the most popular shades. So if you'd like to see, if you want to see some affordable Jukes and try and save some coin, stay tuned. Okay, quick mention before I begin, I'm going to be putting the MAC lipsticks on my top lip and then I'm going to be doing my juice on the bottom and then I'm going to do a little compare. Okay, let's get started. So the first lipstick that I'm going to be duping is Velvet Teddy. I'm going to do a little swatch of this on the back of my hand. I'm going to do this before I put this on my lips. So, as you can see, yeah, Velvet Teddy is a... It is a warm nude. It's a matte finish with a slight brown undertone to it. And the dupe that I... Ooh, the dupe that I have for... This lipstick is the Wet n Wild Bear It All lipstick. I'm just gonna do it next to each other. So this is Velvet Teddy and this is Bear It All. It is a very similar finish. The only difference is the Wet n Wild one has a little bit more of a shine to it. I'm just gonna do it on my lips. I'm just going to do these quickly because I don't want you guys to fall asleep even because this video is an hour long. Oh, I'm impressed with that one. I think I've just found my perfect replacement for Velvet Teddy because I, I don't really want to get the MAC lipsticks again in the future to save a bit of coin. Ooh, the MAC lipsticks are £17.50 and this one is £3.99 in boots. So it is a very simple a very good dupe to Velvet Teddy. All of the dupes for these lipsticks, I will include both the MAC lipsticks and the dupes in the description box below. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to be doing is Seishia, which I will do a swatch of on my hand. This one is a light coral colour. This is a luster lipstick, so it has more of a shine. It has a... It is more of a coral pink. This is probably a perfect one that I would suggest that you go for if you're starting out in your pinks and reds. This was one of the hardest ones to do because I don't have a lot of lipsticks that would match but the closest one I have is this which is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Antwerp as you can see here that is the one on the left hand side. This retails in Boots and Super Drug at £6.99. So I'm just going to do the Seychia one first on my top lip. And then the NYX one on the bottom. So they are very similar colours. The only difference is this one is a little bit more pink, and this does dry, and this does dry down on my finish. But I'm not going to let that dry because I've got a ton of others to go through, and this video will end up being an hour long. Okay, so the next if next if if I'm gonna do well the next two actually because these dupes these are very similar I'm gonna do these two together. I have managed to find a lipstick with more than one dupe. The first one I'm gonna be doing is Cosmo. The so this is what Cosmo looks like here. It is very similar to Velvet Teddy that I mentioned at the start. Only this one has a little bit more of a shine. The first dupe that I'm gonna be using is which I found is this, which is the Rimmel Heather Shimmer one in the Rimmel Last and Finish lipstick in the in the colour Heather Shimmer. The only difference is this one is a little bit more purple. I'm going to be doing a series on lipsticks very soon in the run up to Christmas. The only difference is it is a slightly bit more purple but if you're wearing, if you're wearing brown it's turned out more brown or if you're wearing pinks and purples this will have a slight purple undertone to it. So I'm going to do a do this one on my lips. Okay, that is a very simple, this is probably the least similar out of Cosmo because this one is a little bit more purple toned. And the second dupe that I have for this one is this, which is the Maybelline Cream Lipstick in the shade Rosy Risk. Again, this is probably the most similar one to the two Cosmo. I'm going to do this, I'm also going to be duping this one first while we are still on the Maybelline one. This is the MAC. Lazy Fair lipstick in the Love Me One in 411. So I'm going to quickly do just change my lipstick and I'm just going to do a comparison. This next one, I'm going to do all the dupes together because there is more than one dupe to this, this lipstick. Well, the first one I'm going to be doing is Cosmo, which is a this is a really nice classic. Look very similar to Velvet Teddy, only this one is, has a little bit more of a shine. Oops, just got that on my teeth there. I also forgot to mention that the MAC one retails at $17.50 and the Rimmel one retails in boots and super drug at £6.99 so I'm going to do the 
the MAC Lazy Fair one. This is one of the Love Me lipsticks, so this one is a little bit more expensive. This retails in on most MAC count as at $19.50, and the Maybelline one retails in Boots for £6.99 and in Super Drug for £7.99. So I would say get this in Boots if you can. As you can see, the colour is pretty much identical, only this one is a little bit more brown. So I'm going to do the MAC one first. And then this is Rosy Wrist by Maybelline. That, I've never thought I would get this bang on, but I pretty much found an exact dupe to the to this MAC one, so I really saved myself some coin in the future. Next up we have Whirly, as you can see here, it is a very versatile colour, I'm just going to swatch this on my hand. Up until a while ago I didn't have any dupes for this, so this is what Whirly looks like on my hand, it is a matte lipstick, it is a chocolate, like, a chocolate brown colour. Eventually, I did find a dupe to this. This is the Kiko, a very squash Kiko Velvet Passion Lipstick in the shade 328. Another matte formula, so I'm going to swatch this on my hand. Again, another similar dupe. I'll probably get this over the over the MAC one in the future because I probably wouldn't. This is the one that I would wear like on a regular basis. Oh my god. Drop the lid. Throughout this video, I kind of surprised myself with the number of juice that I can find in my makeup bag without having to fork in out for any more. So if we are doing twig, this is another mini MAC lipstick. However, this is my this is another this is a lipstick that I would definitely be getting a full size one in once I use this one up. This is a satin lipstick, so this will have more of a shine. This retails for £10.99 in the MAC counter. And a very similar colour and probably the closest one that I could find, I do have a lot of dupes for this one, is this, which is the Rimmel Last and Finish Lipstick in the shade Asia and this retails in boots for £5.99. So I'm just going to do the very simple uh, comparison here. This is Rimmel Asia, this is Twig. As you can see it is a very similar colour and a very similar finish but if you apply this more surely you, you will get a very similar colour payoff. So I'm going to do the MAC one first and this one is Asia by Rimmel again this is a very similar colour only the MAC one is a little bit more brown I would highly suggest this if you're maybe moving out of the pink ones and maybe doing a transition into your brown lipsticks Back to the full size ones, next time one I am doing up the amp, this is a amplified lipstick, a clue is in the name. This is a lavender colour with a slight pink undertone to it, this retails at £17.50. Now the only dupe I would have this for is, this is a old one, I don't think you can get this anymore, this is the Collection Little Mix lipstick in the colour Perry, as you can see it's a very similar colour in the tube, do a little swatch. And as you can see, that is a very identical colour. I'm going to be doing Perry on the bottom lip. And then up the amp on the top. The colours are literally identical. The only difference is, is the collection one has a bit more of a shade, whereas the MAC one has a shame but it is a little bit more subtle. This lipstick, this actual lipstick isn't available anymore but I'll be sure to link some more in the description box below. You can get a very similar formula and lipstick of this one here. It is the, you can get the collection last and finish and they retail in Super Drug for £2.99. Next up we are doing Amorous. I mentioned this before and maybe my, October, my September October favourites I have been wearing. I had this for about a month and I wore this a lot so this is what Amorous looks like. It is a cranberry colour and it's like a cranberry with a slight red undertone to it. Now this one is one of the, this one was quite difficult to do because I don't normally wear cranberry but the the closest one I could get is the Kiko Smart Fusion Lipstick in the shade 429. That's Amorous on the right there, this is the Kiko one. The Kiko one is a little bit more purple, I'd probably say it's more closer to 
syrup by MAC but if you apply two coats to this but you, you still get a very similar finish so I'm going to do Amaris on my lip and then I'm going to do the keeper one on the bottom Again, very very similar colours, you just need, may just need to apply two coats to get the a similar match to Amaris. The next one I'll be drooping is Braid, this is another very popular colour, so this is a luster finish where it, has, it isn't quite matte but it's got a very subtle shine. This is the one that I have the most amount of drooks for but obviously I'm not going to show all of them. The closest one that I have to Braid, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lift Cream in the shade Montreal. This retails in Boots and Super Drug at £6.99. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch of that now. Again, this is a very similar colour to Brave, only this is a matte formula. I'm just going to be doing this. I'm going to do NY NYX Montreal. And then this is Brave by MAC. Again, this is a very similar colour, only this is in a liquid lipstick form which dries to a matte finish and this is a luster lipstick which has a very subtle shine but you'd have to look very, very closely. That is one of my favourite shades in the MAC lipstick, it's a very, very natural colour. This is probably the perfect one if you're going to start out on your pinks. Second last one guys, I'm really going to be doing this one that I saved till the end which is Rebel. This is a satin finish, I saved these until the end because of how bad they can stay in your lips. I am quite surprised at what the colour actually is compared to what it is in the tube. In the tube I was expecting it to be a, a vibrant bright plum purple but as it turns out this is more of a cross between a raspberry and a cranberry colour so this is what the Rebel one looks like it is. It can stain your skin, so I would be careful if you were if you are to remove this at the end of the day. The dupe that I have for this, this is in surprise, surprise. This is another soft matte lip cream. I'm actually using this. These a lot in this in this video. This is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Prague. The Rebel one retails for ten pounds fifty, and the and the NYX one retails for six pounds. So I'm gonna do a quick swatch of this on my. On my hand this is rebel this is prog the only difference is prog is a little bit more pink and not as vibrant as the mac one so here is rebel on my lips i'm going to do this in my mirror because i'm not really a fan of doing tiny lipsticks in my viewfinder terrible application guys and this is prog by mix Be sure I get plenty on the brush this time. So the colours are very similar, only this is a tiny bit more muted pink and it, and it is a matte finish. I would say if you wanted to get a very similar colour payoff, I would, I would suggest that you apply two coats before it dries and then once it dries it will get a very similar colour to Rebel. And finally the colour that would be perfect for this time of year, this is a retro matte formula, this is the colour Ruby Roo. It is a blue very blue toned red matte red so it is this is what it looks like on my hand i probably wouldn't suggest doing red lipsticks on your hand although years ago i was really into red i have plenty of red lipsticks and i couldn't really decide on a dupe however i did now wrote down to this which is the rimmel last and finish lipstick in the shade zero one which i'll do a swatch of on my hand again a very similar color with a blue under toned red so i'm going to do a I'm going to do Ruby Woo on my top lip first, I really should have did this before I started filming this section. This, this lipstick retails at £17.50 as it is a full size. And the Rimmel one, which is the last in finish, retails at £5.99 in Boots. The colours are literally identical to each other, only, the only difference is the Rimmel one has a little bit more of a shine and easier to apply, whereas the MAC one, as it is a MAC formula, is quite stiff on you, it's quite stiff like, to even swivel up and then do on, when I was doing it on my hand, but when I was doing, when I was applying it to my lips, it was like really pulling on the lip and it was like, 
And what I would say is take care as to because it might make you look like sort of red and then be sure to take it into the inner corners as well so you can get the full look and you're not like missing any bits out. And would you believe it guys, that is my full MAC lipstick juice. And that is it guys, that is my MAC lipstick collection. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the lipsticks that I own. If there are any colours that you think would look really nice, I highly suggest you get your hands on them. I'll link those in the description box below. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button, turn the bell on down below and I'll see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching.